Yeah. Okay. All right. Take care. Yeah. You too. Hey, have a seat. You gonna take my picture? Absolutely. Okay. That is cool. I've never seen that truck that small. How many pixels is that? Don't be taking my my picture with any cheap little uh, two point five megapixel camera here. I need good resolution. That is amazing. Oh, it's a three point. Oh, no kidding. With a digital zoom too. Very nice. Good for you. How's the lighting here for that? Not good enough. No. No. Better. Okay. Well, this is this is really interesting. I've never had anybody film me. How how I look so far. Keep my glasses on or off. There we go. How's that look? Good? Yeah. Okay. Great. Does it have the red light that goes on when it's when it's being filmed? How much memory do you have on that thing? Enough. Do you? Because we got at least 15 minutes together. Okay. That's all we need. 15 minutes. It can be longer if you need it to be, but we have to meet for at least 15 minutes. I don't want to be here. Well, I understand. And uh, <clears throat> like I said before, we'll try to make this as stress-free as possible and uh, be able to just meet. I've done a good job at it. To, to make this stress-free and to meet once a month for 15 minutes. And uh, I thank you for coming in. And uh, good. How, am I still staying in the frame? Am I in the frame here? Is it alright if I kind of swivel around so I can see you better? Okay, good. <coughs> So today, we're going to be talking about some treatment goals. Something that we can do for the next, what is it, uh, until October the 12th? When is the conditional discharge? And is that uh, the 12th of October? I, th I thought you might know. What do you think? We'll make it time specific until the 12th and we're going to be challenged to try to think of some things that you want to work on while you come to see us and uh, <clears throat> so that's what I was just doing when we came uh, sometimes people just want to say something as simple as uh, to maintain mood stability or maintain stability or stay out of the hospital you know, did you have some thoughts for yourself did you have some things that you wanted to accomplish in the next four, four months? Stay out of the hospital, is that a good one? What do you think? I think you're an idiot. I'm sorry? I think you're an idiot. Ah. Well, we got to put the camera on you now. we got to get some of this on, on film. Is this film or is this just... Uh, That is a movie camera, isn't it? MP3 stills a movie, huh? All right, well, we can certainly talk about me being an idiot if you want, but I'm also the idiot that's going to be assessing in the next four months whether or not we need to continue this uh, conditional discharge. Here you are threatening me again. And you are going to be the one to tell us whether or not that has to happen based on your compliance with your treatment and whether or not you're maintaining stability, which I will be assessing.
okay? And you can come in here and film me and try to pick fights with me, but that's not going to change things. So, you can, do you help, think it's, you can come you up with you some treatment goals. Do you think or, it's, it's ethical to put false um, statements into a client's records? Well, if you don't come up with a treatment goal, I'm going to be challenged to try to come up with one for you. And, and it can be, uh, you know, to make some ability or, uh, to uh, stay out of the hospital, whatever you think. And if you refuse to sign it, then we'll just have to note that. Are you getting this on film? Are you getting this? Okay. So, we have... We have some time. It's it's your time, and we can use it as you please. Okay. Where do you live? Why? What difference does that make? You're trying to pick fights with me. Yeah. First of all, let's get rid of the camera. We don't need that. That's highly unusual. And uh, I'm not giving you my permission to film any further after this. I am formally telling you to turn it off right now. Okay. I'm not going to touch your equipment.